Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm going to pump you up with pumpkin pie to start this video. This is an amazing treat by my same awesome client who's made these great treats in previous videos. This was actually around Thanksgiving. And besides the amazing taste, I love the fact that this contains pumpkin as well as tofu. So pumpkin is a rich source of beta carotene, which research has shown can actually help with muscle growth. And so it does this by being anti-catabolic as well as anti-inflammatory, but it also has been shown to increase localized muscle IGF-1, but not systemic IGF-1. And this is very similar to what happens when we lift weights. So I find that truly fascinating. So we're getting the best and leaving the rest. Another aspect is that carotenoids can drive up fat burning, but they also can create a body fat makeover. So carotenoids can be absorbed in our fat cells, and our fat cells are an organ. So they release leptin, adiponectin, and other hormones. So I know if body fat's demonized, but it's also an organ. And body fat can be inflamed or it could have less inflammation. And so with having carotenoids being absorbed, they have an anti-inflammatory effect. So it's basically improving our body fat quality. And I think that gets totally overlooked because typically the industry focuses on quantity, the amount of fat we have, which is important, but I also think the quality of fat we have is also important, and I've actually touched on this in a previous video. So in a sense, carotenoids can not only naturally help reduce body fat, but that could actually improve the quality of fat we have. Lastly, what I want to say is that pumpkin also contains beta cryptoxanthin, which has been shown to reduce fatty liver. In this next picture, this was a meal that was uh, that was eaten out at a restaurant. This is one of the few healthy choices they had, but it was uh, tofu, eggplant, curry, field peas with kale. And field peas are a good source of protein. Um, in this next picture, we have a kale slaw salad. This is a beautiful rainbow array of colors, which is also indicative of the antioxidant array. So we have goji berries, blueberries, avocado, chia seeds, raspberry dressing, and pecans. In this next picture, we have a blueberry chia date tofu breakfast bowl. And what I want to highlight here is that this is a soy protein, which is a good plant muscle building protein for the fact that it's a complete protein, which contains good amounts of the essential amino acids, but it's also a paradoxical protein. Research has shown that soy contains 20% 20, 20 of it is contained of a protein known as beta conglycinin which has been shown to increase FGF21. FGF21 actually gets increased when we restrict protein. So let me repeat that. A complete protein in soy can help build muscle, but it also dries up FGF21 FGF as if we were not eating protein. I have not known of any other protein that has done that, and it was so fascinating. I actually did a video on this that I'll go ahead and card so you can check out. I was fascinated by this. So the, my interpretation is that this is a, this soy protein is a fat burning muscle building protein. The fat burning comes from the FGF1 induction and the muscle building comes from the fact that it's a complete protein. Truly remarkable. Next picture we have, this is banana date ginger tof, to, tofu. I uh, got the banana ginger combination idea from Dr. Furman. It's actually a great combination. I really enjoy it. Ginger on its own has an amazing array of benefits. And then these last two pictures here, we have another healthy uh, choice of uh, when eating out. This is hibachi veggies that were sauteed either in water or olive oil, and then added some protein with the tofu. Last picture, we have beet juice and mushroom powder. This is a pre-race uh, little combination to boost performance. You guys know I'm a big fan of beet juice, but also forgot about the aspect, the benefits of uh, mushroom, in this case, cordyceps. And there's a lot of research that has shown some promise in regards to uh, cordyceps helping with performance. But the last thing I want to say is I did this just on my own because the mushroom powder wasn't that palatable. So I figured let me make it a little more tolerable. Well, actually it tastes quite good with the beet juice. I actually will just take a teaspoon of the mushroom powder and then just chase it down with beet juice. It actually tastes quite good. And what's fascinating is there's actually a supplement company that has actually incorporated this combination. I find that fascinating because it supports the fact that there's some science behind this. And it also made me feel good to know that, well, one, I can't believe a supplement company actually incorporated this. I just found that fascinating. So anyway, thank you guys for uh, taking the time. I really enjoy sharing this information. And as always, till next time.